Welcome back to Yankees Hot Stove. During the 2015 season, Brian McCann was one of the most productive players on the Yankees, both offensively and defensively, finishing the season with 26 home runs, 94 runs batted in. Brian joins us by phone right now. And, Brian, I want to go right to the end of the season, game 163, the wild card game. When you lose that game and your season ends so abruptly, how difficult is it to get over that? It's hard to get over it. Um, it happens all so fast. I mean, you, you, you play a marathon for, for one game, and then um, you get shut out, and next thing you know, you're, you're home, and, and it all happens so fast. Um, so, it, you know, it's unfortunate that, that we lost that game and we, we weren't able to get into uh, the, the DS. Brian, from a personal standpoint, I already mentioned the offensive numbers. You also threw out about 40% of the runners that attempted to steal against you. Year two as a Yankee, you just seemed so much more comfortable. How much more comfortable were you? Yeah, I, w I was way more comfortable. And for me, I was more comfortable with knowing the league. That, that kind of that, uh, took me by surprise, to be honest with you, to, to learn all the new hitters in the AL East and, and how, how tough it is to maneuver through lineups in the AL and uh, you know, it, it, it took me a while, but, uh, you know, about, you know, late August of, of 14, I, I started to, to settle in with the bat and, and, you know, it was good since then. You talk about those growing pains or learning the league that you had to in your first year as a Yankee. As a catcher, you have so many responsibilities. What are the aspects of the job that you take the most pride in? For me, it's, it's working with my pitchers, uh, calling a game and, you know, having a low ERA, caring about each pitch that's thrown, um, you know, thinking ahead. It's just there's – catching to me is uh, is the greatest job in baseball. And you get to think. You get to um, come up with game plans. You get to talk to your pitchers. There's just a lot going on. So, um, for me, that that's my favorite part about playing baseball. Let's talk about those pitchers for a minute now. Joe Girardi was at an event at Yankee Stadium yesterday where he actually said, listen, I like our rotation, but I know there are some concerns. And he talked about some of the injury histories and guys trying to bounce back. When you look at the way the Yankee rotation is currently assembled, what are your hopes and expectations for next season? I really like it. I think there's uh, – we got the veteran CC. We got – um, he evolved me who, you know, the sky's the limit. You, you don't know what you're getting. You could be getting um, a number one. I mean, that, that, that's how that, – that's the kind of strides he made. Severino coming on like he did. Um, Tanaka, Nova, Pineda. I mean, it's, it's a deep, deep staff, and there's a lot of upside to it, too. So, for me, I'm, I'm extremely excited to, uh, to get to spring and work with the guys. And, um, you know, I, I, I love where, where our rotations are. When you get to spring training, there are two pitchers that you worked with last season who won't be there, Adam Warren and Justin Wilson, both leaving the Yankees in trades. They got some big outs for you guys last year, Brian. Yeah. How do you fill that void? How do you get those outs from other arms now? First, I mean, I, I can't. What those guys did for us last year, incredible. Adam, you know, being a swing guy, you know, being one of our most consistent starters uh, and then being asked to move to the bullpen, doesn't skip a beat. And then what Justin Wilson did, uh, solidifying that seventh inning to hand the ball over to uh, to uh, Dellen and Andrew. I mean, I, we can't say enough about them. So we're, we're definitely going to miss those guys. Um, but to get pieces, you have to give up pieces. And, and I, I, you know, it's unfortunate that the two great guys are leaving. But uh, you know, we're, we're we're looking forward to the new guys coming in and and making them feel welcome and, and being a part of, of what we're doing. You gave me a great segue there. To get pieces, you have to give up pieces. So to get a talented outfielder in Aaron Hicks, Brian Cashman and the Yankees decided to trade John Ryan Murphy. I know you had a very strong right. relationship with Murphy. What do you think about his future as he goes to the Twins? And then also the fact that you might have Gary Sanchez backing you up now. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to miss Murph a lot. We, we, we came, became really, really, really close. Um, getting to work with somebody for 162 games that plays the same position that um, you know what you're getting when you show up to work. And, and I think the Twins got an all-star caliber player who, uh, who calls one of the better games that, that, that you're going to see, um, has pop, and he's only going to get better and better. So I think they got a, they got a great player, um, great catcher, uh, catcher of the future for him. And then, uh, you know, to, uh, we got Hicks, who, who's – God's the limit for him as well. 
guy, guy can do anything you want on a baseball field. So excited to see him him go to work and uh, and start playing. And then Gary Sanchez, this guy's got tools for days, and uh, you know got pop right center, left center. Those are one seven, one eight down to second. So I'm uh, I'm ex- I'm extremely excited to work with him and and uh, you know see his tools on a daily basis and, and and try to help him get better. Brian, I know as part of your off season, you're very busy with the Rally Foundation for Childhood Cancer and Research. Now, for those folks out there who don't know what that foundation is, tell us a little bit about it and why it's so important to you. We got involved in 2007 when I played with the Braves, and um, we we met a lady named Dean Crow who who started the whole foundation. And once we met her, uh, we knew we wanted to get into something that had to do with kids. And then we met Dean. And then we met some of the kids, and it was like, you know, me and my wife looked at each other like, we, if we don't get involved in this, um, we're, we're, we're stupid. So we, we jumped all over it, and it's been a blessing ever since. Now, I know for the folks who want more information, they can go to www.rallyfoundation.org. And if they want to support the McCann Home Run Challenge, they can do that. Pledge an amount for every home run you hit. So there's some pressure on you. You're not just hitting home runs for the Yankees, but you're hitting home runs to help a lot right. of other folks. Yeah, and I need I need to hit more. I need to hit more so I can uh, raise more money. But it's it's such a great cause. Um, you know the 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 people that that are involved and the, and the kids that are involved in this are are such special special people that um, we're lucky to be a part of it.